Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to create this uh, area of impact, uh, radial impact effect. This is just a simple demonstration. Later on we will add uh, proper sound effects and particle effects but for now you can see with this uh, effect I am damaging or attack uh, all enemies around me like this. So this is what we are going to work on today. Radial impact attack. Okay, so yeah, let's see how to build this. So as I said, this is just a simple representation of a radial impact. I just want to work on the logic first, then we will build upon it. And before we get started, let me remind you that here, uh, the project files are available for this project. In my Patreon page, I'll leave the link in description. So once you become a member, not just this project, you can download project files for all thousands of things that I have done in my channel. And also, you can watch all previous episodes of this project in this playlist. Uh, I'll leave the link to the full playlist in the description below. Right, now let's get back to today's tutorial. Alright, so let's uh here let me show you that i have imported this uh, ring like mesh it's nothing special just this mesh so either you can use a cylinder as well so i simply just created this mesh in blender and imported it so that i can have something to visualize because right now i don't have any uh particle effect to show an a radial impact kind of uh, attack so that's why i'm gonna use it okay here now let's create a new folder special attacks i think and let's create a new folder e radial back Okay, now here under this default same road, I'll add this ring. Okay, now it looks like this. And if I place this in the world, it should be like this. Right. Uh, now here I'll add the custom event deploy that and here I'll add an input uh, on the type of factor using the type of factor. Let's call it that tag then what I want to do is enlarge in this uh, ring so for that oh actually I have a better name for this instead of PP let's call it AOA area of effect that's a common uh, okay now back here I'll add a timeline Let's call it enlarge time. Okay. And here let's add let's set the length to maybe like 0.6 seconds should be enough. A float track. Here zero zero and then another point at one oh, not one. Point six. Oh. Point six. Here it should be one. 
No, let's and have some shape like this. It's not if you can actually change this in any way you need, but I'll go with the shape like this for now. Okay. Back here, I'll play from start, and then all I need to do is enlarging this ring. So let's get the ring and set to scale 3D. So I don't want to enlarge it alone as a axis, so I'll keep it at one. But for this, we yeah, have to rename this size. Let's multiply this with some value and connect to X and Y. So the reason to add some value is so that I can control how large the ring is going to be. So for now, I'll put something like three. Okay, now just to test, let me just call deploy attack here. That's not changing. Why? No, oh, this is not the blueprint, it's just the mesh. If I, yeah, see? it did get enlarged, but it was too fast. Maybe we can make this one second. Now let's see. Okay, that seems reasonable. And initial size. But it's fine okay now i'll remove it from here and then uh, let's work on the attack logic so i need to detect collisions therefore i'll set this to overlap all dynamics and get the event on component begin overlap and here when we deploy the attack now I'll remove it from here. Let me promote this to a variable because attacker should not be should not get hit by this uh, area of impact. So here first, when I get an overlap, I check if I have a valid attacker, and if yes, then I'll check if this collided overlapped object is not the attacker if that is true then on the other actor i can i can trigger a react event so we did a similar thing with the sword let me show you and uh, sword here when sword collide sword collide with an enemy we call this uh send gameplay event replicated through player yeah this is important because otherwise uh, we can't send a gameplay event without a replicated event without having a reference to a character so that's why i have used this so i'll use the same thing uh right now and just copy this by the way these are these things i have explained when i work on the attack with sword using hitboxes as instigator i'll 
pass a reference to self okay and here we don't really need this but i want to choose uh, react light or react heavy i can simply use this so there will be a heavy reaction on the actor okay all right now uh, to test this yeah let me open this base character this is only for testing uh, later on we will properly implement a way to how to deploy a radial impact attack but this is only for testing so port h so when i press h i'm going to deploy a, a radial impact attack spawn from class and i'm going to choose aoe radial impact wait that's the location get that the location so the character's location will be used as the location this one and then i'll call deploy as the attacker whoever the character deploying the attack so a reference to a self like this and also one more thing once expanding is done we need to uh, destroy this either destroy this or disable collision or hide so i'll set collision i'll disable collisions set collision enabled to no collision and then set life span i'll keep it around for one second so that we can see it okay oh yes we need to play simulate right now if i press h you can see it appeared the uh, enemy got hit by yeah both enemies got hit okay maybe it should uh, spawn in the character's foot uh, ground level so down a little bit okay now i feel it's too slow but, uh, yeah but it's working uh, and we can build upon this Let me just duplicate these guys so that I can read it better. Right, so it is working. Alright, so I'm gonna stop it right here. Now next time let's uh, add some particle effects, sound effects and properly integrate this in a meaningful way to the existing combat system that we have worked on. And thanks for watching. As always, updated build files will be available for download in the Patreon page. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Mm, don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next episode goodbye